welcome back to my channel this is the last day of 2020 um so i decided to film today like a day in the life 往下就是一号公路往下一边的话它这个有个section就是比较比较挤嘛就房子排的比较挤那边出租的比较多 um, buyer he wants to buy something Fox Chase he has about a hundred thousand that a hundred thousand that almost saved up in the bank uh -huh. the problem is hey tip number one even if you're working from home a lot of time I find it super helpful just to put like a work outfit on and put some makeup on so you're not feeling like you're at home you know, you don't, you got your mindset is not right. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be talking about how much you can make your first year a real estate agent. I realized that I made the same topic almost two years ago. So I have some new insight and new opinions that I think about in regards to first year real estate agent salary. So if you want to know how much you can make your first year, stay tuned and watch until the end of the video. Hello 你跟着 redo it? Hello. One, wonderful. I want to toast it. Got some that burn that I just cooked. How is this not too cooked? Because the top. See, I didn't wanna have it too. I just got home, so I'm gonna cold call a little bit, and then I have an interview in an hour. Um, I'm probably gonna stop calling around five. It's funny how. Hi, my name is Luna. I am a local. Oh, okay, it's okay. It's a wrong number. It happens. Thank you. Happy New Year. Um. It's funny how Steve asked me the other day, he's like, I think it's pretty soon you're going to stop cold calling. But I'm telling you guys, I don't think I'll ever stop cold calling. Maybe I'll call for like an hour or two hours of my day. And the reason is I feel like cold call is such a way to learn how to be humble. And it's like the way how I start my business, which is a way that I will never really give up and if essentially what i wanted to do is kind of just teach other people how to make money from cold call and how to be a great salesperson so i don't think i ever stop i just called a for sale by owner and it turns out to be a wholesaler and when i sent him the card he said that we're friends on social media so what a small world Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about how much you can make your first year in real estate. I've made the same topic about more than a year ago, but there are a few things that I've changed and you know, I just want to kind of share with you guys my insights again. Um, disclaimer, I do not believe how much you make your first year determine whether if you're going to be a successful agent or not. It's actually quite the opposite. Maybe sometimes if you don't make nearly enough, you will feel like as if you don't deserve this much and you work so much harder because that's the same thing that happened to me. I got my license 2017 in the summer and I've made about less than $5,000 within that couple months. The first couple months, I didn't make anything. Then when I do 
did a bunch of rentals and made five thousand dollars so that was not enough for me and i'm not just gonna let it go which kind of inspired and motivate me to work harder and make more later on in my career so by no means how much you make your first year matters however is it possible for you to make 100k your first year absolutely yes and in this video i'm going to teach you guys and kind of let you guys know how you're able to make 100k your first year step number one you need to know how much your average home price home sale is in my area is two hundred fifty thousand dollars so let's just say average commission six percent three percent of that is about seventy five hundred dollars let's just assume that the split between you and your broker is 20 80 split so the check that you will be getting in your pocket after the split will be six thousand dollars okay now you wanted to make 100k so use the hundred thousand dollars divided by six thousand dollars that gets you about 16.66667 so you will need about 17 real estate transactions in order for you to make 100k however not like every house you're going to sell is 250 sometimes it could be more sometimes it could be less so why don't you just set your goal to close about one to two houses a month that's kind of you know a standard goal that is for any real estate agent that wants to make a hundred thousand dollars that year would it be a, a, a few factors that can make it a little easier number one you were born and grown in that city you have family sphere influence and people who can help you out who's looking to buy number two your age right your age group is a bit older let's say if you are currently 40 years old or 50 years old definitely you can run into a lot more people who are looking to sell or buy real estate in your sphere versus somebody who's in their early 20s most of their friends are probably looking to rent apartment versus even buying so that's number two number three i think it's crucial for someone who decide whether if they want to make money real quick by working with buyers versus make that decision to transition into working as a listing agent immediately because as a listing agent you are spending tons of the time prospecting on the phone which you're not going to see any result to begin with even me for me to close my first cold call lead it took me about four months and i was only lucky so my real estate cold call leads didn't really start to kick in the end of my second year. I start to feel like more referrals and cold call leads coming back to me on my third year, the end of the third year. So keep you guys in mind, it is definitely a long haul game. It's not gonna take that soon, but it doesn't really matter. So I hope this video kind of give you guys more insight and which things that you should be focusing on. Again, if you wanted to sustain and be successful in this business you've got to keep your pipeline full you have to find a way for you to work efficiently and work less at the end you wanted to have a steady growth every year in your real estate career so i'm gonna end my video right here if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing my video to my channel this is luna over here comment fortune cookies down below and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye